Well, here comes a really lovely boat. I love her. She's called On Reflection. She's a 55-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built by Reeves in 2003 and fitted out very nicely, I must say, by Bob Mitchell. She's been in the same hands since launch, and she's been so well cared for. She's in lovely condition, both inside and out. The pram hood at the back there is immaculate. The cratch cover on the front of the boat's in really good condition. Side panels all come out, and it's easily erected and dismantled. Good size cruiser stern, uh, six foot six inches long, so really social space. There are solar panels on board. They haven't been fitted yet. They're due to be fitted on the 11th of May, so they're going to be part of the boat. Paintwork's in lovely condition. It's original, actually, but it's been so well looked after. Good size well deck, four feet long. Glazed cratch board. This cratch cover's really good condition as well, and it has glazed panels in it when you roll them down, which also cover up, actually, to keep the light out if you want. The locker in the bows there is just storage. There's an anchor in there and spare cassettes and things. Storage in each of these seats either side. The water tank is under this well deck. Don't know how big it is, but it does them on a three-week holiday for, I think you said, four people. So it's a good size. Glazed front doors. And in the boat we go. She feels so cosy. Lovely cottagey feel. Oak-faced ply with solid oak trim around to the cabin sides ceiling and the above the gunnels diesel stove that's a bubble there's a 18 inch tv dvd combo there there's a blu-ray box and a cd player underneath that saloon itself is eight feet three inches long a couple of super comfy armchairs in here actually a few storage options four radiators on board there's a webasto diesel fired central heating system Head height on the boat is six foot three in the middle. All the lighting is LED. And after the saloon is the dinette area. It's a lovely arrangement, this. There are two tables, or there's this one single table and a large one you'll see later. For dining, you could seat six around there quite comfortably with some additional chairs. And the dinette turns into a double bed as well. That's the room down the living area. Very good space, very light, this boat, good size windows. And into the galley, there's a cupboard up there. The fridge is a 230 volt indesit, good size fridge. This cupboard here goes all the way back to the bulkhead up, up at the dinette end, that's good size. And the cooker's a Thetford full burner gas oven, separate grill, separate. Uh, sorry, full burner gas hob, <laughs> separate oven, separate grill. Stainless steel sink on the starboard side. There's a wine rack squirreled away in here. Useful shelves. Work surfaces are laminate, and under the sink is some more storage. There's plenty of storage in this kitchen. It's quite good space, really. There is a side hatch. Opposite the dinette area I didn't really mention. There's also another side hatch in the kitchen. You'll see that in a minute. Four good sized drawers there. And that's the view down. Here's the side hatch. Both side hatches, by the way, have Perspex um, inserts. There's one. There's the double table I mentioned for the dinette area. And down we go into the bathroom. The loser Thetford cassette. There are four cassettes on board. The basin is ceramic. Good size cupboard here with mirrors on both doors. Another radiator in here. And the shower's a good size. Glass door. A couple of very good size linen cupboards in between the shower and the wall. thermostatic mixer tap in here and there's a light over it as well so you can see which bits you're scrubbing so everything you need in there and then the bedrooms in the aft cabin fixed double bed six feet long four foot six wide but it does extend to five feet wide there are these slidey shelves things all the way down 
and there's a mattress insert under the dinette, so it extends to five feet wide and there's four very good sized drawers underneath. The hot water tank is under the back of the bed there. <clears throat> hot water, I should mention, that's supplied by the engine, the Wabasto central heating system, but there's also an immersion heater on board. Lots of storage options at the foot of the bed. A couple of chairs in there for putting on the back deck or the towpath or the dining table. Very neatly arranged instrument panels on the starboard side here. And there's a very useful storage under that. There's the inverter, that's a one and a half kilowatt Master Vault Dakar. There's the landline, there's a landline on board, so 230 volts of the inverter or the landline. And steps lead up onto the good size rear deck. This pram has great, it's six foot three inches tall at its tallest point, so it's good space. The engine's under here, very well maintained. It's a beta 43. There is a hospital silencer. There's a bank of four batteries at the top of the screen there. They're 110 amp hours each. They were new in 2016. Very clean and tidy in there. The gas bottles, by the way, are under the deck there. There's a locker on the port side of the boat, just down there. There are three gas bottles on board, the 3.9 kilos. Let's have another quick walk back through. I think I said all the lighting's LED. She's due a blacking. She was last blacked in April 2017. There were four new anodes put on at that time. Last engine service was May last year, but she's not really been used since then, to be fair. There's a myriad of navigation equipment to go with the boat so there's nothing you need to, to get to take her. And this is a boat that I really really like. It feels lovely. It ticks all my boxes. For further photographs or fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk